Okay guys, what we got coming up today on today's video is going to be um, the uh, heater, the diesel heater that I got, the install. Um, so I'm going to show you how I install it, where it's going to go. So let me just show you where I've discovered a place to put it and it's inside underneath my bed this is where I have my batteries right there and then I put the two blocks here with a hole in the floor that's where the the bottom uh, connectors are going to go with the hoses the uh, the fresh air in and the, and the exhaust out the cost of the whole unit itself uh, the Chinese knockoff kind um, was two hundred and twenty dollars so if anybody is actually wanting one of these I'm gonna put a link in the in the description below and uh, I appreciate it very much if you were to click on the link and go have a look and if you're interested in buying it uh, please buy it through through my link then I'll get a little bit of a cut uh, as far as money goes uh, for advertising <laughs> for them I've already got three buyers that are, are looking at it. Uh, uh, one person already, uh, Bill, who's a, 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 a van guy from Alberta, from Edmonton, he's already purchased one through my account and paid me for it and everything already. So we're just waiting for it to come. And this is what I'm going to install. It's the diesel heater from China. All Chinese. And I'll take you in and we'll have a look at the rest of the stuff here too. Inlet hose or intake for fresh air into the burner. And here we have exhaust out, little muffler for noise. And uh, what's this? A little remote. So I can be in bed and turn it off and on from in bed if I like. And then this mounts on the wall. That's a digital readout. Uh, what else we got here? There's a fuel pump. Pump the fuel. Here's the fuel line. And here's the wiring harness here. It's got all the connectors. Quite long. You just hook it to 12 volts. And fused the whole works uh, clamps and then here in here is the uh, air filter the fuel filter all the the hoses the nuts the bolts that uh, puts it all together and then here is the hose for the venting it's got a vent you put on the end it's a directional you can turn it any which way and have uh, have the airflow in any direction and then the fuel tank itself it's a 10 liter fuel tank with holes that you mounted in the on the wall that's the exhaust there where the the heat comes out and uh, this is the where the in intake now the whole lid comes off of this thing if you take the end off and here's the bottom with the mounting bracket on it. This mounting bracket it screws down, and then you uh, there's the this is the um, fuel line, this little one here, and then the uh, exhaust, and this is fresh air in. And that's the only things that have to be vented outside. The rest of it is uh, inside. Yeah, then you got a tabletop too. Right. Okay guys, got her all installed. I figured this video is not not really about the install. Anybody can figure out how to install something. It's the idea of how it functions, uh, what kind of numbers I get as far as heat, power, noise, the whole bit. So there's the wall mount. Right now it's set at time, which is 1027, 
and if I press the OK button, it comes up to 20 degrees inside here right now. That's the temperature. Press it again. This is the target temperature. You can tell by the larger uh, symbol there, uh, the degree symbol. So it's going to go up to 22 degrees. Press it again. We got 12.4 volts on our battery. Again, it's an E00, which means the, uh, the, the, the error codes. It's, uh, there is no errors, so it's set to zero. Back again, it's the time. Um, sorry for the reflection. How can I get rid of that? Anyways, the bottom shows uh, the kind of a pictorial view of what the unit looks like, the little fan that comes on. Uh, there'll be a symbol. I don't know quite know what that one is. Uh, there'll be a symbol there when the when the uh, glow plug comes on, uh, in and out. Uh, the time. The top is uh, a Wi-Fi. The battery. The Wi-Fi is. I have a little key fob that I can turn it off and on and temperature up down from a distance. Let me just see where that is. That's in my pocket here. And here it is, here. Let me go outside where we can get some more light on the subject here. Okay, pull this down. There, and as you can see, it's got an on-off button and a plus-minus up-down. And let's see, what else? Uh... Right now I've got the, just temporarily mounted the pump. The fuel line goes down to the tank down there with the blue cap on top of it. And it's got about nine liters in there right now. And then the unit itself is underneath the bed. And here you can see the vent coming out here. And uh, this is all sort of temporary right now so I just wanted to show you the uh, unit and where it's where it's going to be placed so um, from what I understand it will the 5,000 uh, 5,000 uh, the 5 kilowatt unit which I have um, burns at a rate of 0.2 to 0.4 liters per hour and if we take an average of 0.3 that's uh, in a 10 liter tank that's 30 hours in one tank uh, the tank cost me 1250 to for 10 liters exactly to fill it and uh, I can run it then for uh, 30 hours so it all depends on how hot you want it how long you want to run the thing how many days you're going to get out of it but I think for me I'm probably going to get about two weeks out of it so that's uh, twenty five dollars a month that it's going to cost me to run this thing but to have nice dry heat as opposed to the buddy heater which is mine's not a buddy heater but it's um, it's something close it's called the um, Martin but it's, it's exactly like a, a buddy heater. It has those fins on the side because I want it to direct the heat. This one here just blows the heat straight out. And there's an exhaust I got out the back. Let me just turn this thing on. So with the remote, press the on button. And the um, readout on the thing here was flashing on let's look at the temperature right now is 19 degrees uh, with a stupid reflection um, right now the little fan is turning telling me that it's on and if I put my hand and put yes it is but it's cool air because if the fan comes on right away without any heat There'll, there'll be some bars across the bottom, the bottom, right down here, across here. There's one green one there already, and then the next one will be a taller green, 
and then the yellow and taller yellow and then the red and the tall red and that indicates uh, that it's full heat full blast uh, right below the temperature you can see a little red plug-in which means the, uh, that the uh, glow plug is on the pump is not on yet there will be a little symbol over here that shows that the pump is pumping and in my opinion um, if you turn your your vehicle heater on and blow air out uh, against the windshield there that's not now the pump just came on the pump symbol so the pump is now pumping and that's down here and yes it's going to can you hear that it's pumping so it's going to start heating up and let's just see what kind of heat is coming out from down here just a slight bit warmer not a heck of a lot yet so we'll let things just get warmed up uh, as far as the power goes uh, once like right now when it's trying to get going up to full speed uh, it's supposed to use between between 10 and 12 amps which is negligible uh, as for the as long as it runs once it's running full speed it uh, goes down to 0 0.5 0 0.6 amps so in my opinion that's not much at all my uh, fridge takes up more than that okay we've got full two reds it's full now let's just see what we've got for heat All right, now with the heat vision, you can see <laughs> it's, this is right, the uh, microphone is right in front of where the air is coming out, so it's either probably blowing too loud or you can't hear it. So let's just go outside and have a look at where I have the exhaust. And needless to say, it's probably louder out here than it is inside. That down there is the little muffler. In my opinion, it's very quiet. Let's have a look at the readout now again. Two red bars at the end, or it's red at the end, which means it's full blast. Still 19 degrees in here. Uh, with the doors open, it probably going to just blow all the nice hot air outside. I am more than impressed with this uh, unit for cheaper than a Wave 3, absolutely no moisture whatsoever, perfectly dry air. Uh, the cost of the unit is $220 from China, so you're going to have to wait for a little bit of time to get here. So that's about it my friends i'm going to leave like i said a uh, link in the description to go to my amazon affiliate page or to the product itself and if you purchase it then at that point in time or if you're on amazon uh, after clicking on my link and you buy this product or any other product i i get at least a cut some uh, a few dollars to help you know on the review of these things um, that would help greatly appreciate it I mean if you're gonna buy one anyways please do it through through my affiliate link so please like subscribe if you haven't already and uh, take a look at this unit online uh, on the Amazon and, and just have a look for yourself decide for yourself I'm recommending this to anyone living in a camper van, a motor home, anything, a car even, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm recommending this highly to anyone that's interested in a nice dry heat as opposed to wake up in the morning and your windows are all fogged up because of uh, your buddy heater running. 
uh, the only time I'm going to get any moisture on my front windows is from breathing and you do you do breathe a lot of moisture in a, in a night so anyways take care and uh, come back and watch the next one we'll see you then